Hello students of class 8. This is our third video of the chapter cloud and rain. I will start from classification of rainfall. There are three types of rainfall, convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall and relief rainfall. First we will do convectional rainfall. First is the convection rainfall. Convectional rainfall occurs this is water body C. From the water body the air starts to evaporate, rises up. As it enters, as it go in the higher atmosphere, it come in contact with the cold air where it condensation happens and after condensation clouds form and these clouds come down on the earth, become too heavy, it come down on the earth as rainfall. It is called or convectional rainfall. So, convectional rainfall is a type of rainfall that occurs mainly in the warm and humid area where high temperature and humidity exist. Convectional rainfall is a common phenomenon in which mainly in India, China, Bangladesh, etc. From the water bodies, the Warm, I mean, the water evaporates and rises, the air ev water evaporates and rises up in the higher atmosphere. While reaching in the higher atmosphere, it comes in contact with the cold air and when it comes in contact with the cold air, it condenses, condensation occurs and clouds form. So here cumulonimbus clouds occurs and when it becomes too heavy, when the clouds become too heavy, it cannot float, it comes down on the earth as rain. This type of rainfall is known as convectional rainfall. Now see, in warm countries, vertical rays of the sun heats up land and water. The earth surface becomes intensely heated and the hot and moist air from the land surface rises up vertically as convection current. Hot rising air has greatest capacity, moisture holding capacity, which in, is abundant in the area of high relative humidity. And it rises, condensation takes place and causes rainfall accompanied by thunder and lightning. Convectional rainfall is also known as five, 4 o'clock rainfall, very very important. Convectional rainfall is also known as 4 o'clock rainfall because it occurs every day in the afternoon times in the equatorial region. So it is known as 4 o'clock rainfall. It occurs every day in the equatorial region in afternoon at 4 o'clock. So it is also known as 4 o'clock rainfall. It is common in Bangladesh, Myanmar, etc. In the tropical region, it occurs in the trop, uh, 4 o'clock and it is called uh, 4 o'clock rainfall. Now go to next part that is more to know. What is relative humidity? Relative humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air to the amount of water vapor the air can hold. So what is relative humidity? The amount of water present, amount of water present in the air to the amount of water the air can hold can hold expressed in percentage. So, what is relative humidity? Relative humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air to the amount of water vapor the air can hold and it is expressed in percentage. So, this is the relative humidity definition very very important. What is relative humidity is very important. Relative humidity is a ratio between the actual amount of water vapor present in the air to the amount of water vapor the air can hold. It is expressed in percentage. Now we are going to the next part that is orographic rainfall. 
the word oros means mountain the word orographic orographic the word oro means mountain the word oros means mountain when any mountain um, stands in the path of a moist wind see this is a highland and this is sea the moist air rises and accumulate in this side of the mountain in this side the air strikes and causes rainfall clouds formation occur and causes rainfall in this side of the mountain and this side of the mountain receives maximum amount of rainfall this is known as windward side of the mountain so this side is called windward side windward side this side is called windward side when the wind move to the other side of the mountain the amount of moisture present is in that air is very less that is the wind after causing rainfall in the windward side when the wind moves to the opposite side of the mountain the moisture availability in the air is less the wind is almost die so here little or no rainfall occurs this side of the mountain is known as leeward side of the mountain or rain shadow region rain shadow region so after causing maximum rainfall in this side in the windward side when the wind moves to the opposite side of the mountain maximum little or no rainfall occurs in the opposite side of the mountain that side is known as leeward side or the rain shadow region okay so in india maximum rainfall occurs from the orographic type of rainfall in next video i will continue this part thank you class